social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Welcome to The Big Juice. Our guest today inspired one of the most loved, most loved songs in Africa, African Queen. It is the lovely Annie Idibia. <laughs> so all of a sudden, you need Celine to come and do this. When you guys were planning this, when you guys were doing all this, nobody got me involved in the deal. Nobody got me involved. Now all of a sudden, I'm supposed to, to go to the rescue and please, guys, I have a life outside this, okay? Shut I have up. a life. Shut up, Celine. Shut up. Minute. Is that what it has come to now? Should we start telling each other our stories? Where we're all coming from? Do you really want to hear all that? Welcome to the juice. Welcome Thank to the juice. You, you look fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And you just had a lovely baby daughter. That's right. Uh, that it wasn't that long ago, was it? Five months ago. Five and months. yes, you look. I try. Yeah, I, I was I was looking at the pictures because um, yeah, I follow you on Instagram and I'm like, okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, what did she do? So <laughs> what did you do? How did you get back into shape I, so quickly? What did I do? The first six weeks, I didn't really do anything. Mm. It was afterwards, then I just started trying to run little by little. I had my baby just here, so I couldn't like tie my belly and yeah. all that stuff. So it was just simple exercise and I was just taking nutrients so that mm. my baby can get good, you know, breast milk. But I wasn't eating all that plenty thing you crave for once you just have a baby and all that stuff. I was trying to take it easy. And I heard this. I heard because um, most of my, most of my, well, my brothers, my cousins, male cousins that have gone into the delivery room, they're like, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that has got to be one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Was Two Face there when you <laughs> had Olivia? Mm -mm. For some reason, I didn't want him to be there, but he wanted to. And then, you know, you know how his job is and everything. Mm. So he came like two days after the baby came. But I was kind of glad he wasn't. He wasn't there, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> were you I, like, were you like, oh, I need to fix my hair, I need to fix my makeup and everything, or <laughs> you just? You were, know, you, were you scared maybe you were going to like hit him? Because you hear horror stories or, about women just yes, going crazy before, in the delivery when I was When I got into labor, I was, I, was make, I, was, I was like a mad woman. I was screaming. I was like a mad woman. But then I think after 24 hours after the baby, it was good. I was okay. Fine. I even wish we were there now. Well, plenty of time. Yes, more babies. <laughs> <laughs> more babies. <laughs> All right, um, let's talk about, uh, well, we've talked about, you know, a little bit about the family and everything. So now that you are, you know, you've had your second baby and, you know, she's like, what, five months, you said. Five months. Are you planning to, have you gone back to work or are mm -hmm. you still taking some, you know, mommy and daughter time? Mm, well, just chilling uh, at home? <laughs> I'm, I'm going back to work. I'm going back to work. Although I was on maternity leave, like my husband would say, maternity leave whatever that is but now I'm going back to work I've done I've been on two different sets so far since I came back and I'm um, you know I'm going to start another one next week so yeah I'm going Ooh. back to work and apart from that I'm, I have plans for other stuff I'm trying to you know set up like a studio I'm trying to go into production okay. producing film studio music studio film okay movies really now weird. now we've got to talk about the juicy juicy juiciest bits <coughs> You're married to one of the most famous guys in Africa. I <laughs> uh, No, it's true. Everybody knows Two Face. It's not just like in Nigeria. It's what across Africa, across the whole world, really. Amen. You know, one of the most popular artists in you know Africa. What's Amen. it like? It's is like, he? Is he? Do, does he? You know, get home and you, you forget that he's like a superstar and he's just like <laughs> a regular guy. Or I don't know. It's like is he quite diverse at home? No, he's not at all. At all, it's, I mean, it's like getting married to any man you meet. It could be a lawyer, it could be a doctor, and you fall in love and you're married to him. That's it. It's, I mean, I know he's, but sometimes we even forget. Mm. You know, sometimes we forget. But no, it's very normal. Innocent mm. is really, really normal. Like to a fault, so you know. How he do doesn't even know. I don't think that boy knows how huge he is. But do you sometimes, like, okay, maybe, I don't know, he's just, I don't know, taking a, taking a nap or something. He's sleeping. <laughs> do you just wake up sometimes and go, I'm married to Two-Face. <laughs> like, he's like one of the most famous guys, like, in the whole world. Do you kind of just, you know? I think when I wake up like that, it's never really a mind. It's not like, oh my, I'm like, oh my God, I love this boy. That's what comes to my oh. mind. So it's not really. There are sometimes I think I wake up and I'm like, oh, I love this boy. And then he looks like a baby when he's sleeping. He doesn't even look like an adult. Oh. So, yeah. 
Um, but your love story is, well, when, when he proposed, when you got married, everybody was talking about it. Mm -hmm. And it's been, when did, when did he propose? Was it two, two years ago? Was it? 2012. 2012, yeah, so, mm -hmm. yeah, two, two years, years ago. ago. And February. your, your, your whole relationship was pretty much played out like in, you know, social media, newspapers I and everything. Know. So, um, take it, let's take it back. How did you guys meet? Was it love at first sight? Was it love at first sight? I don't think so. But, but I just knew there was that f strong attraction, that first instant I was going into the gate and he was coming out. That's how I met him at the studio, even in Israel studio. Mm. I just finished the clinic school. I was working on something for AIDS Worldwide for women. That time was like a talent show we're doing mm. and then we went to the studio and I think he was recording mm -hmm. then. They were just, it was just him and Blackface then. I don't think Face was in Plantation Boys then. So he was just coming out of the Even Ezra gate and I was going in and kind of, you know, at the same time, it sounded like a movie, right? <sighs> It but, isn't. but that's how it happened actually and then he was coming out i was going in and we just and he said hi and i said hello and the sparks there was that sparks. one there was one, one that kind of small one second slow motion scene didn't take place then he went in and, and then did i saw him again did he chase how. you did he chase you were you like oh no no i'm not you know you're an artist don't. he didn't or no he didn't chase me there was no chasing you no know. we're just we friends became mm. friends yeah we're friends he was seeing someone when i met him you know we're just friends. I was born. I was even preaching to him, so I was born again. Like serious, 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 serious. No, that. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> but it's, it's okay. true. But then anybody I meet, I want to invite them to church. I want. That's how I was. Like everybody, everything. My whole life was about church and school. That time, everything was church and school, church and school. So mm. I wanted to invite him to church. Would you say that your relationship has been like a roller coaster ride? Just ups and downs and ups and downs, but now I'm very stable. Okay, very so stable. if it was if it was like that, the, um, back let's go back to like 2012, mm -hmm. uh, the 14th of February, wasn't it? Valentine's so Day. it's been it, it was like up and down. When he proposed, I know some other women would have been like, oh, this whole thing has been up and down, up and down. Why did you say yes? Hmm. Jam question. That's in bug. I don't know if you've seen anyone, but if you are and you love him and he proposed, wouldn't you say yes regardless if you really love him? But I'm a little bit like, you know, I'm a little bit pessimistic. So if there's been like a lot of, you know, different things and a lot of other people involved, I'd probably be like, nah. let's just, let's just, you know, talk about this. Let's just, you know, so you were... I mean, I didn't know the proposal was coming, but before the proposal, there was some sort of, we had like different you know talks but it's not like i didn't know we are, we're not even really together before the proposal that's mm. the truth we're just being good parents to our you know to my daughter that's how it was and so the whole proposal thing came as a surprise the thing is with innocent i knew i always loved him from when i met him till now so it's either i'm with him or i'm not so when he proposed i said just because i mean if you love someone you want to be with them regardless if you really, really do love them, mm. and then he's not such a bad person, so he's a he's a lovely guy. Actually. He's sweet. Yeah. When you um, so you guys you guys were together, then you kind of you know you broke up, and you know um, different things happened. When you were, um, I'm sure you, you you did see other people. Yes, yes, I did, of course. So did you when when you were dating on people? Did you always at the back of your mind think, you know what, I still love? I was just trying to you know move on with my life. I mean, I met people that were really good people that genuinely care about me and wanted to be and you know I like them too but it was always him just, you know when you have a soulmate it's your soulmate no matter how far you go mm. if God actually really wants you to be with your soulmate it would happen so I just knew somehow that I really like this guy but it's not it's more than it's, like no I know in a sense I mean the guy that mm. I was seeing I mean I really like him but that last thing that made it complete wasn't really, you know, but it's not like I was waiting on anything, but I was just hoping that him and I would, you know, mm. grow stronger and closer and then just blank that do my boy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it, know. this is this is like, I've always wanted to know this. Why do you like, um, because it was, it, was, it was a bit of a surprise for all of us. Because I remember looking at the picture saying, is that, is that real? Oh my goodness, look at the way, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So why do you think he said, you know what? Yes, we've had our ups and downs, but Annie is the lady that I want to marry. Why do you think he was, you know, it was like, 
it was you. Hmm. So that question I do. <laughs> because <laughs> you you said that you said that you said yes because you've always believed that he was your soulmate yes yeah. i always thought so well i want to think that he he kind of realized that that that's where his heart was mm -hmm. not because i loved him but because he loved me too and he wanted to be with me i think he kind of realized that's where his heart was i i think he was confused for a long time i don't know it's mm -hmm. like a movie. It's just beautiful. Um, mm. What about <laughs> the 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 his the the other mothers, the mothers of his children, of his other mm -hmm. children? Are you guys okay now? Oh, uh, I, yeah. For my my daughter is in love with all her siblings. Like it's it's amazing. It's it's beautiful the way, you know, she loves them so. And then innocent loves all his kids. I can't help it, but you know, feel the same love for them so it's too mm. food that mean the world to me love all these people mm. you know why should i not and then with their moms um i'm very civil with everyone try to keep it straight and no beef, there's no, no there's no animosity no no nah, no reason for all that and don't you see the the boys hang with my daughter mm. all the time they are cool those mm. guys are really cool you should see them you've seen what their pictures there? yeah They're i've cool. seen pictures i've seen pictures but then you know sometimes you post a lot of pictures sometimes i'm like oh i miss that i miss that so <laughs> you know do you think that sometimes maybe one person hopes well was hoping that they got the ring tools i don't know <laughs> i don't know i had to ask man I had to ask. <laughs> oh my god this lady oh god i don't know she's trying to put me in trouble <laughs> did you ever happen. did you ever like you know maybe when you were like a at an event or something two face see mm -hmm. one of them and go <laughs> <laughs> did you ever do that <laughs> no no nah, no mm -mm. Uh, maybe mm -mm. he liked it so he put a ring on it no, no. I, I i never did actually <laughs> i never i don't have any reason to. <laughs> oh god oh okay. boy it, it's 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 the the bruise was enough i didn't have to add anything mm. okay all right yeah. uh we are going to take a quick break now and when we come back we're going to be talking about romance <laughs> a bit more about romance okay and how you keep things <clears throat> spicy tools pg of course <coughs> PG. okay pg <laughs> don't go away <laughs> Welcome back to the Juice. We still have the very lovely Annie Idivia. Thank you. Here. <laughs> All right. You and your husband are constantly like in honeymoon, you know. Mood, right? <laughs> yeah, mood. There are always pictures of you guys, you know, cuddling, like kissing and just, you know. So uh, we, we fool around a lot. So there's, 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 a, there's a picture. Yes. That we um <coughs> yes we just like to we'd like to know what's going on in this picture <laughs> you know what this reminds me of you know that usher song <laughs> the usher song that he did with what was it beyonce make love in this club mm -hmm. i'm thinking is that what was playing in the background or what was going on here <laughs> innocent and i we fool around a lot we do i don't know he probably was checking me out I like to think that. <laughs> he was more than checking you out. <laughs> His eyes are almost about to drop <laughs> into the cup he's carrying. Oh my god. <laughs> so how do you keep how do you keep things exciting? How do you keep the fire burning? Mm, I, I, I I know him so well that I know I think I know what he likes. I mean, I don't mean don't get me wrong, like I mean we play a lot at home and I don't know, we do we do almost everything together at home when he's at home almost everything like from c cooking everything okay so yeah and so if you're gonna plan like a romantic day for him like maybe i don't know he's been on tour and stuff and mm -hmm. you haven't seen him for a few weeks and you're like you know what you know i want to do something something special for him what would you do innocent loves candles you know he really likes candles and stuff so i don't know i think i probably will <sighs> Don't, uh, maybe I'll just lit up my bedroom with a lot of candles and stuff and make sure, you know, get someone, you know, give him a good massage. Yes. And then 
food. He'll have to he'll eat in the room with the candles and everything. I think, hey, what am I saying this? I should do that. <laughs> yeah, something like that, though. But apart from that, him and I, we, we fool around a lot. That's just how I can really explain mm. our kind of relationship. We're like buddies, like friends. We, we joke about every mm. single thing. And we say the silliest things. So, so that kind of keeps it spicy, you know. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for thank stopping you. by. Thank you. I know you're a little bit nervous, but it was fine, wasn't it? It was nice. Yes, yeah. you didn't say anything bad. Did she say anything bad? No. Did I say anything bad? No. I mean, you could have expanded a little bit on the whole romantic, you know, mm -mm. thing, but okay, that's fine. Mm -mm. All right, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. And uh, we look forward to seeing you and possibly, well, you know, well, Isabel. When, oh, with her right. when she's like, <laughs> when she's like you know, <laughs> with her first movie and everything. Yes. Yeah, that could be happening true, soon. True, yes. Okay, yes. thank you once again for stopping thank by. Thank you, Tools. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel. And you can also watch more videos here.